Hey guys, this is Stingray out here in Big Bend National Park, and um, today's the first day they opened the, um, the unpaved roads. So, for an example, um, Hot Springs Road is open, and also I've passed by Glen Springs, and Glen Springs was open as well, and uh, that guy slowed down, like maybe like he was trying to see if I needed help, possibly, I'm not sure. Got quite a distance to walk, but I wanted to tell you a quick story. Um, I should have changed the resolution to something a little bit less intensive in terms of resources because this apparently is gonna be a long walk. Um, I mean, by comparable standards of people who use Fitbits and all that. Um, I don't, I don't need a thing to track whether I'm actually taking care of my health or not because my health will tell me the truth. Um, doctors are going to tell you what they can sell you. So on that note, you guys do what you will um, on your own and we'll get to the same conclusion in some way or another to figure out why less is more and why more is less. And it depends on what we're talking about. In our times, perhaps more humans is detrimental to the good of civilization based on the way that I see people calling each other out on Facebook all the time. Then maybe, yeah, hey, why not be happy that there's a depopulation of, you know, those kind. <laughs> Interesting, huh, to think about. So I'm walking up to something that I've seen a lot of, which makes me feel like perhaps there's cause to reconsider the speed limits and or the accessibility of these national parks to just the general public. Here we go. He was already baked onto the road, so I couldn't do anything. Even if I wanted to move him off, I would have disrespected him even further. And those of us plummeting through these terrains where wildlife is already struggling. It's always odd to me when I see roadkill of certain populations and notice a trend. First, I noticed the trend of canines getting hit, you know, coyotes, foxes. Then I noticed the felines, bobcats, mountain lions. Right now, what appears to be over and over hit and mashed into the pavement are birds. How interesting that that's one of the main contributors to roadkill that I'm seeing out here. You would think that someone at a school somewhere might teach troubleshooting skills, but those skills are something you either have or you don't. Everyone else is just following a, a book, a script. You have to realize if you're hearing me and you're hearing what I'm saying, you have to understand, everyone who's following a script will follow the leader, so to speak. You know, nothing against anyone who's leading. That's just their job. Everyone's doing their job. We just don't have all of the insight that it takes to do a better job sometimes. And so we just keep doing same, same old jobs. But like I say, as we start to notice anomalies and animals and each other as nature until we start to recognize the bugs in the world <laughs> and hope they don't try to crawl up your nose. Please don't go up my nose. <laughs> as we start to recognize things, oh, that's my sign to stop. Have a great day. I'm sure you'll come to your own conclusion because it's not up to me to tell you <laughs> how to be happy. Um, or anyone. It's not up to anyone to tell anyone how to be happy. But peace sure is a lot more peaceful. So peace.